Hi folks, Shell Buzzy here. Today I have a real story to tell. A story that is going to be one day possibly you will be involved in a similar circumstance. And what it is, I'm putting my name forward as an endorsee of the Surrey Hospice Society. And the Surrey Hospice Society is opening up a new thrift store in Cloverdale, British Columbia. Now, Cloverdale is part of Surrey, and being in the heart of uh, Cloverdale with the thrift store, I was uh, uh, brought together with some of the uh, uh, administration staff of the uh, Surrey Hospice Society, and uh, we got talking about how to raise money. And I thought, you know, we've done a lot of nonprofit uh, volunteering over the years, and here's one that really needs help. So we decided as a family that we would put my name forward as Shell Buzzy's Toolbox. So this store will be known as Shell Buzzy's Toolbox and it is a component of the Surrey Hospice Society thrift store. So that's what I'm doing here today. I just want to show you what it's all about when it comes to a, a toolbox. What do you put in a toolbox? Well, pretty well anything associated with what I do and I have done for many years and that's home improvement. So you can see here now for example that we had a company uh, donate to us uh, paint and this happens to be a, uh, a paint that is well known in the industry commonly known as chalk paint and chalk paint is paint that you can do all different items. It's, uh, this is a Van Gogh line and the Van Gogh line comes in all different colors and we're going to not only uh, uh, sell the product, but we're going to teach you how to use it as well here. Because as you hear what I have to say today, I'm going to have a little theater where I'm going to have an opportunity to set you down and talk about all the goodies that we're going to be doing here at this store to raise money for this Surrey Hospice Society. So we're going to do a little bit of the creative art. Uh, this is some of my own art that I've created over the years of driftwood and neckties. I've never thrown a necktie away in my life. So what I do with them now, I create a piece of art. Uh, you'll hear more about that if you participate in our classes. Also, uh, you might have had a loved one uh, pass away, maybe a granddad or a, a, a person that was quite handy with their hands and they had their tools and you wanted to get rid of the tools. We want you to donate those tools to the Shell Buzzy toolbox and it will be sold for all proceeds to the Surrey Hospice Society. And here's a, an indication here. There's a door that was painted with the chalk paint and out of the box of uh, tools that uh, a lady brought to us was uh, a part of uh, their tool uh, that they had at home. Or in, their, in this case, it was her husband. And it was a pair of pliers and a screwdriver and a simple tape, uh, a roll of black tape. Mounted on the door, which was painted with the Van Gogh paint, and we put a little, uh, uh, well, a little identifying area where you can engrave the name. And in this case, she's going to have on there, you are such a handy person. We love you. So that sort of thing is all part of what we're doing here. And you can see down on the bottom shelf here, we've got heaters, we've got uh, drills, we've got all our drills together. Some of them are the hammer type. We even got cordless types here. And as I walk along here, this is going to make uh, reference to the different items, hand saws. And uh, even here's a paint uh, roller and tray and all these tools along here. The level, I keep everybody on the level. You bet, and also we got the squares and all the different items. Now keep in mind, all these tools may be something sitting around in the shop or out in the garage or down in the basement, never to be used again. Well, bring them out and let somebody else, maybe some children. We're going to have an area in the store here as well where the young ones can come and pound nails in and get an idea what the uh, building is all about and what you have to do when you're a, a builder or a plumber or an electrician or whatever. And all these tools here, right through, and you can see not only do we have the uh, uh, tools that are electric, some are cordless, and look it up top here. <laughs> we got all the mobile tools. We, if you want to see the largest handsaw in the world, this is the largest handsaw, and yes, it will cut. And then we have the combination square, we have the tri-square, and the level of the back. It's a real showroom to come and uh, spend and have an enjoyable time, good time. 
and also uh, we've got and we will have the odds and sods of uh, different people giving us hard goods we've got uh, this one here is a showcase for uh, say a porcelain doll for an example that says there and we have uh, come on around here I'll show you some other goodies that uh, we have Right here in the front window we have now some of the director's chairs. And incidentally, these director chairs can be painted. You can paint them, you bet. The Van Gogh paint is an acrylic uh, uh, latex type product, being the chalk base, and you can do, uh, oh, you can make a director's chair for the, the little one if they're doing a show. We've got a couple of beautiful leather uh, chairs here as well. And oh, I think what, come, look here, look here. This is something, what I did here, the boxes as they come out of the garage or the boxes as we uh, pick them up uh, to bring them to the uh, uh, Surrey Hospice thrift store, it's, uh, this is what you see. You just see odds and sods and then they have to be all sorted out and everything here from a pair of uh, uh, clippers to a pair of uh, adjustable battery pliers. We've got, uh, oh gosh, look at here, we even got a wire wheel, we've got uh, auger bits here. A real variety in here. Planes. We got the little block plane. We got the little smooth plane. Hey, we even got a torque wrench here. All these items will be sorted out, put on the shelf for you people to come and buy. And I'll tell you, you're going to save dollars, lots of dollars. But the dollars that you pay go to a good cause, the Surrey Hospice Society Thrift Store. And this is the Shell Buzzy Toolbox part of it. So all along here we have. And back in this corner, back in this corner, we're going to have evening classes where we're going to teach you. And I'll tell you, we're looking very much forward to a lot of the ladies that uh, have called me over the years on the radio program, the TV program, and all of that is going to be available for the ladies, the gentlemen, anyone that wants to come out that I'm going to be teaching the how to, the what to, the where to, the why to, the when to, the who to. You betcha folks, we're going to do it all, making it just that easy. Yes, you bet. Now keep in mind, if you're donating valuable tools, possibly something you might have uh, got as a gift that you want to uh, uh, get rid of because you'll never use it, we will give a receipt. It's a tax receipt. This is a society that is registered non-profit and they can give you a receipt at the value that you put on the product and at the fair value to be uh, sold. So don't uh, to overlook the fact that we do have and don't be concerned about asking for a receipt. We have them here. We have all the documentation for you to fill out. Also we'll take in the lawn and garden tools. All of the shovels and rakes and uh, oh gosh uh, weed uh, uh, pickers and all that sort of stuff. That's the sort of thing that we want. We've got, uh, oh gosh, we've got uh, saw horses and all the different type of uh, uh, ladders and step ladders. All that type of thing is going to be available here as well. And I'm going to take you out into the back room because the back room out here, here's the area right here I'll be doing the teaching. And then coming through on the back room here, this is really where it all arrives. It comes in from the back door. And this is what we call the breakout room. And this is the breakout room. This is the way it'll come in, for example, here. And look at this. By golly, I'll tell you. Now, there, there is a tool that I really didn't know what it was. And what it is, is a garden tool. It's a propane weed killer. Simply put it on the weed, choo choo. And environmentally friendly, no uh, toxic uh, uh, materials being used. And it's. Uh, all very safe for it to use as well. But look at the different things that we'll find here. Ooh, we hard hats. We got hard hats. We got uh, bottles of screws. We got screwdrivers. Gosh, there's all, everything in this one here we got. Well, we're going to be putting grab bags together in here as well. Oh, oh, look what's in here. We got some pots and pans. Oh, yeah, the pots and pans in here as well. Anything that's hard, we don't. Uh, want to take in clothing. Very sorry, there's other thrift stores that would do that and uh, we certainly can direct you in that right, that regard. But uh, no, clothes will take uh, work uh, overalls, we'll take steel-toed shoes, uh, we'll take rain gear, all that type of thing for the outside uh, works of the contractor, And uh, but not regular clothing. 
that's something that we can't. But I'll tell you one thing I will have is a number of the vests that I've had over the years doing shows and doing uh, uh, different presentations at different areas. In fact, this one I have on here, folks, is a real collector. This is my Power Smart vest, Tilly vest, beautiful vest, and it's the Power Smart BC Hydro when I launched the Power Smart back in 1989. So, folks, you'll be able to buy some of my memorabilia. You bet, we'll have it here and also uh, some of the other uh, jackets and hats. In fact, I'd like to say, BC Hydro, thank you for the opportunity. It has been one of the items that's made me quite popular in the industry of home improvement and also take my hat off to uh, Cloverdale Paint because Cloverdale Paint, BC Hydro, sponsored my radio program on the Chorus Network and I say thank you because it's because of you that has really made the name synonymous with the home improvement shell buzzing and I thank you for that. So the hat goes off to you and the vest keeps me warm. But in here you'll see uh, where product has been arriving. There's a radio alarm saw over here. There's even a thickness planer here that uh, uh, is uh, basically brand new. And it's, uh, well, this is the breakout room. This is where things are all checked. Make sure they're working. We don't want to put anything on the shelf that doesn't work. That'll go into recycling. We recycle anything that doesn't work, anything that's metal that will go to recycling. So folks, we ask you, please donate those tools. Don't throw them away. Don't put them in an area where they're going to be sold in a garage sale for nothing. Give us a call. And the number we'll put right on the screen for you so you'll be able to write it down. My number, you can phone our office at 604. 542-2236 or 584-7006 at the Surrey Hospice Society. So folks, all of that is for you. We want you to participate. I'm actually volunteering. We're going to have a manager in the store that will know the tool pricing and the store will be open and you'll hear about it and we'll send this out to all our members and of my Shell Buzzy House Smart Club as well as the Surrey Hospice. So folks, think about it. Bereavement, if you'd like a brochure on what it's all about, you can go to the website of the Surrey Hospice Society, and it is the surreyhospice.com. That's the surreyhospice.com. Bereavement support services for you. Folks, I ask you, please support us with tools, volunteering, and we thank our volunteers that are available, that are working for us now, and uh, money, checks, anything of that nature, call and we will certainly see that you get looked after. And the number again, 684-584-7006. That's the Surrey Hospice Society. Or you can phone my office at 604-542-2236. And yes, it is the same shell buzzy. Having lots of fun in the industry, staying busy. And I want to thank you again. Have a great year. Bye-bye for now.